Hey ladies and gents, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Kaisha Allen. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below and also hit the bell notification button to receive notifications for my new videos. Now, let's get into the video. these and gents so as you can see from the title I am doing seven tips for an online college student and this is basically dear to my heart I guess because I'm going through it right now so I feel like I can give other people advice on it so let's just start with this list so the first one is always stay on top of your work I can't stress that more than anything in this world because if you fall behind on your work, not only will your GPA go down, but you won't pass the class and you can ultimately get kicked out of the class if you don't turn in your work eventually. So I recommend staying on top of your schoolwork and just pay attention to due date. But my second one is turn in assignments as early as your instructor allows. So with this one, it's very helpful, especially if you have like multiple classes and you have multiple assignments due on one day. I suggest turning in your assignments early so then you don't have to worry about that assignment. You can worry about the other assignments. That has helped me a lot. Like, for instance, I had a PowerPoint due like two days ago. And I also had to write a paper that had to be five pages. Now, I remind you, the PowerPoint itself had to be like eight to nine slides. And it had to have resources and a title page and pictures. And it was just too much. So I had to do all of that. So I did my PowerPoint first because it was the easiest. And then I worked on my paper. And my paper took the longest. I'm not going to lie. It took forever to finish that paper. But I got it done the day of when it was due. Because I was just basically procrastinating. So yeah. But just stay on top of your work just just please <laughs> don't be like me stay on top of your work and turn in your assignments on time but my third one is get a good night's rest this is so important especially as an online college student because if you do not sleep at night you will probably be like in your head doing schoolwork all day all night barely getting sleep because that's me I barely get sleep between schoolwork and YouTube I barely get sleep I maybe get like three hours a night if that sometimes I don't sleep at all and then the next day I sleep all day so just get some sleep don't pressure yourself into getting your assignments done like right then and there especially if it's not due yet don't don't pressure yourself don't put that stress on yourself because eventually it's going to wear you down and you're not going to want to do your work all you're going to want to do is sleep so just take your time and get some sleep but number four is pay attention to the videos they make you look at in some of the classes now, for this one, I've had two classes where they have had videos for each module. And when I say module, I mean like chapters. So, every chapter, it's basically a video where you have to write down your own notes in your own notebook from your house. 
and you use those notes to help you with your assignments within that chapter. So if you don't write the notes down, you're basically going to be lost. So it's just too much. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's just too much. But just always write down notes and pay attention to the videos and basically do everything the teacher says do and you will pass the class. But number five says always ask questions when you need help. This one is so crucial because for me, I'm terrified to ask questions sometimes. Like for teachers, I'm terrified. So I will just sit there and be like, okay, what am I supposed to do? But in reality, I'm completely silent and I won't ask a question. But the older I've gotten, the more I've like noticed that I really do need help and I will just put my big girl pants on and ask a question. Like for my teacher, for example, she has us email her or Skype her. She um has certain days where you can Skype her, but I don't Skype. I, I just don't. I don't have the resources for that right now. But I do email her when I do have like resources for it. So that's what I do. And she replies back, you know, maybe two, three days after I actually email her. And the only reason why she emails me back is because my advisor will tell her to email me. So I don't know what's going on with that. But when she does email me back, it's good information. She sits there and she actually puts step by step of what I'm supposed to do. But... My next one is number six. There we go. I had to look at my list. It says write down due dates for assignments in your in a journal so you can keep up with your assignments. So that's basically like number one, but different. So yeah, so just write down due dates. It always helps me. Like when I write down due dates and the assignments that are due. So then I don't have to worry about is my assignment turned in or is it going to be right or anything like that. So always pay attention to due dates. If you don't, ask the teacher. Just please. Just do something. So you don't get behind. But number seven says pace yourself enough so you don't have to have a burnout so again pace yourself take your time but also remember due dates because you don't want to be falling behind and not pass your class so just pace yourself turn in assignments on time talk to your teachers and you'll do an amazing job with Oran College. Thank you for watching this video. Please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, comment down below any video suggestions that you have, and also turn on your post notifications to receive notifications for my new videos. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, bees and gents.